be around it and then behind it there still will be a veil of cloud but it will brighten up with some sunshine and showers across Scotland and Northern Ireland. But even into the afternoon we still will have that band of rain ensconced across Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, in through Derbyshire, the Midlands. Ahead of it still a fair bit of cloud, still those showers and temperatures still in double figures. Then around this band, don't forget it is going to be blustery, gusty winds along the south coast. Behind that band, again, we're back into some brighter spells, some sunshine and a few showers. Bright this afternoon across much of Wales with a few showers, sun, sunshine coming out across western parts of Wales. And for Northern Ireland, again, a lot of sunshine with some showers in the west. Some of those are likely to be heavy and possibly thundery as they are across western parts of Scotland. But for the rest of Scotland, a dry afternoon with lengthy sunny spells. Now, temperature-wise, just to illustrate the point, in Manchester at the moment, it's about 11 Celsius. As this band of rain goes through, we're looking at about 8 as our maximum temperature in the afternoon. Through this evening and overnight, the band of rain continues to drift towards the southeast as a weakening feature. Behind it, we'll see a clearance in the sky, so it's going to be a cold night. In towns and cities, we're looking at values roughly 3 to about 8, but in rural areas, it will be lower than that. So we could be looking at temperatures well below freezing for some, with a touch of frost and some patchy mist and fog. Now tomorrow we'll have the remnants of today's front slowly clearing away, high pressure still with us, but then another weather front comes in from the west and that's going to introduce wet and windy conditions again with gales and exposure in the northwest. But a lot of dry and sunny weather, but in the southeast we're looking at a bit more cloud and temperatures here up to 11 